think it's probably one of the hardest or most difficult things we've ever done, yet also one of the most rewarding. We absolutely fell head over heels in love with him from day one. All the things that we've thought about and worked on, we're actually now getting to experience. Teaching them their colors, teaching them to count as we walk up and down the stairs and we're counting all the steps and counting going down, counting going up, and then they start to do that on their own and, and uh, teaching them to play with each other. And I think all of it, are, you know, you're on the ground floor, so to speak. It does change your schedule drastically, especially with a brand new placement, and that's regardless of age, because there's just a lot of appointments at, at the beginning that you need to get to. So it kind of becomes a full-time job at first until you get settled in. About a month in, you're settled, and you're kind of into your routine, and you get it. It's, it's almost like just going to another dimension now. I mean, you know, if you're a square, now we're more like a, you know, a cube. It just added another dimension. Now we look back and go, how in the world, you know, do we, what do we do with all that time, you know? And, and you know, what was life like back then? But, I mean, just so much love and joy. Adams County, it really was a pleasure. The guys did a great job. I feel like the caseworkers did uh, excellent job communicating. GALs were wonderful to work with. We've had a, a good experience. I've felt really great about actually everybody that was involved. Mm -hmm. The county attorney, his GAL, the judge. I don't think we could have gotten uh, more education if we had asked for it around Adams County and our caseworker for our home and the caseworker for the children and all the different uh, trainings that we've had to go through. Of course it's an adjustment, but it's no, no different adjustment, I think, than anyone else that's having a baby for the first time. So they, they train you and they skill you and they get you in a place where, in your head, you kind of know what the process is and what's going on. Um, however, they also warn you that in your heart it is a completely different matter and that uh, you may think that you're ready and you're, you're, you're ready to go, but um, it, it changes when you actually get your placement and just to be prepared for that. And they, they actually give us a connection and an ear and a voice. All the fears that we felt were all just fears of the unknown. I mean, yes. and that's 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 where we were. That's you know we were afraid. I I was afraid. Um, and you know when we talk to people. That that's a lot of what people are afraid of is what's going to happen if they get in your home. You know what? All that stuff really does take care of itself. I mean, we couldn't really be more pleased. We were drawn to do it, you know, here locally with Adams County and, you know, every, you know, situation that we encountered, you know, ended up being, you know, very positive. Our caseworker, who is phenomenal, she um, calls us frequently, not just when she's supposed to be here, but, but frequently we connect, we touch base, she asks us how we're doing, she's making sure we're getting time for ourselves as well as time for our kids and, and I, I think it's been a pretty incredible process. We've had such Good luck with Adams really County. I wasn't one that was looking to foster or adopt, to be honest, to save kids. I, I wasn't doing that. I wanted kids. It's just been a journey that you couldn't compare it to anything else that we've ever done. And I don't think I'd go back and change it if it were any other way. And it's been pretty emotional at times. But in the end, it's it's worth it. It's worth it. Even for those first, those few weeks or months or however long you get. And it's just the beginning. <laughs> it's only been a couple years.